what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Dude Jackson back at it again with another episode of the Sir Liberty Junk Tima SWV music so guys you know Kevin Samuels recovery Facebook group is popping and from time to time I'll go in there and check it out and there was a post that was made um, and shout out to the brother's YouTube channel, Boss Antoine King. Antoine, he's also on Facebook and Instagram. Um, there was something that he made up that he got from this chick who was complaining about a brother that left her. Okay, this is the African American guy. I imagine you can see on the bottom. But let's 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 leave that out for now, and we'll post what she said on Instagram, and then we'll come back and give some context to it. She goes, "Sad music. Can y'all believe me?" And this man was dating for two years, took trips together, was closing on a house, got matching tattoos. Stop the show. Damn. Girl, you must have had that good stuff. Booty clap his house. I mean, he had a brother. <laughs> Can you matching tattoos? I mean, damn, girl, you put that thing on him. And he ghosted me, blocked me on all social medias. And now I found it out because he got married. Demon, can I get some crying sound effects in the background? <laughs> yeah, that, that's bad, right? I could kind of feel why you would feel like shit because, you know, and then you see the picture of the brother. He's married to this uh, attractive Latina woman. So she's mad about this. Now, let me just say this. Before the times of the manosphere, I used to hear stories like this and I used to feel, feel like, man, these dudes are out here treating these black women wrong, man. How could you do that? Like, we was only hearing that one side of the story. And even now, sometimes I have to condition myself like, wait a minute, there's another side to the story than just that, okay? And when you look at some of the women in the group, I'm gonna talk about this one. This comment, date music, no surprise. Men folks claim ladies hide behind weave and lashes. Meanwhile, they hide whole families. Go figure. Okay. Another lady says, not surprising. Thankfully, she didn't end up pregnant. She probably would have gone missing if she did and decided to keep it. All right. Now, but Dima, can I get a da 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 sound effect? Right. Now, even the post says, watch out for comment and liars. It can be rough out there. So there's this whole situation where women tell their side of the story and then that's the law. But because we know that this isn't the whole story, what did black men respond? Okay. Black men respond differently. What did they say? Date music. This is typical modern woman behavior, not telling the full story. All right. Date music. Where's the rest of the story? We know there's more. This post is filled with deceit. Date music. He found out who you really are. He ran away, cut you off, and found a better option. Deep down, you know why. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> Just be honest with yourself. Now, black men are starting to come to this sort of reasoning when you hear stuff like this. Before, back in the day, it was like, nah, whatever the woman says, right? But the reality is this. If a man was in a relationship with a woman, dating for two years, took trips, closing on the house, got matching tattoos, obviously that's kind of hard to keep that up, all right? Do all of that, then block somebody and go marry somebody else, right? What happened, in my opinion, was how we know a lot of relationships end when men are in control of them. Yes, women do break up with men, they only tell that part of the story. Women never talk about when they get dumped. Notice that those relationships that they were in, that they were let go, they never talk about it. And what happens when women get let go? If it's amicable or not. Guys talk to women about what the problems are. So if you don't wanna have sex anymore, okay. Well then why don't you wanna do it? You know, um, you know you're, 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 you're being disrespectful to me in this way. Why don't you wanna do it? What can we do to change it? You're staying out with your friends. You're not coming home at night. What's going on? Why, why are you doing it? And then what happens is that man tries to give that woman a lot of chances. Why? Because when she met him, she was acting a different way. And what the guy feels is like, man, I remember how it used to be. 
when we met when we when we um when we met i want it to get back to that like when we was having sex every night when we was having fun all the time when we was like and really enjoyed the company now we're in a rough time and it seems like we're having more of a rough time than we're having good times but i got faith that we can get back to the good times in the relationship well then it find then he, when he comes to, to find out it's not gonna come so what happens is you get some other woman god forbid that she's not black here's the other woman treating him even better than you did okay now here comes the black man you know he probably never dealt with a hispanic lady before he worried about what his mama gonna say because you know his mama don't want him to get with nobody that ain't black he worried about what his friends gonna say but hey the lady is treated in a phenomenal fashion she's actually a better option than you've ever been and that man is tired of you that man um every time he thinks about you he's grimacing but this other woman that either works at his job or he's met maybe not even have a sex for yet but he's just enjoying everything he's being treated finally like a man and you're not man you're not woman enough to handle a man like that baby that's really what it's about you're not willing to step up to the plate and see what happened is you thought that that man was going to stay loyal to you because he probably was um he didn't have as many options as you thought but then guess what he got tired of you staying out late he got tired of you talking back he got tired of you being in your zone and you thought that you wouldn't have to do nothing to change to keep him no 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 he thought more of himself and he found somebody that he can get with that's the lady right there you're seeing in the picture who in my opinion i i prefer black women but in this case this lady is more attractive than the woman we're gonna blur her face out that posted this thing now you're mad at your finding out because he got married but he already told you what the problem was he's already had those come to jesus talks but now you're mad at him because you didn't offer him anything and now you're over there upset maybe you had kids and he was playing stepdaddy but see expect more of this see this is the this is the problem in black america you have one-sided stories being told by women and you're never hearing the other side of the black man's story and that's what black men have to start to do we have to allow black men to tell their side of the stories as to why relationships fail and then now that you're hearing many black men come out and say it what are you hearing now from people oh you hate women oh you don't like women oh you hate yourself oh you hate your mama what does that got to do with the fact that you lost a good man because of you now you want to blame it on him that he had a hold of the person no 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 that don't have to be true at all it doesn't just happen like that you want to just start lying trying to make him look bad you know no don't don't try to make him look bad because you did it to yourself and this is what a lot of them do hella bitter upset because you lost a good guy because you didn't want to give in to certain things you didn't want to compromise the only person that needed to compromise the relationship was him you didn't want to compromise back so then he found somebody who realized how good of a man he was and it didn't matter that he was black now you're upset about it guess what guess who's mad and guess who's not his fault it is it's not his fault deal with it so guys what do you think it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i really appreciate you for all that you do subscribe at the bell check out the first company at the top and as you know the buffoon remains at an all-time high i'm out